What's up guys, it's Radiation here, back for another episode of Radiation Plays Skyrim. Yes, last episode, we got an Elder Scroll, and we fought Elduin, and he ran away like a coward. So now we gotta somehow capture a dragon in Dragon's Reach, this building here. We've gotta capture a dragon in there. And then we gotta interrog interrogate the dragon. And then we gotta figure out where Elduin went so we can go finish him off. <sighs> yeah, realistic game. Thinking yep. of settling in. There's a house for sale. Bree's home. You should talk to the steward up in the keep if you're interested. I don't wanna live here. Actually, living here might not be so bad. I think this is one of the cheapest houses in Skyrim. Yarl! I bring news of a dragon fight. Did you hear it? Did you hear it? It was epic. Let's catch. What is it that you need? I need your help. I need to track a uh, dragon. I must have misheard you. Yeah. I thought you asked me to help you trap a dragon in my palace. Um. Yes. You wouldn't know. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't Sorry, important. But I can't do it. We'll just have to keep fighting the dragons as best we can. I need your help. Um. Yeah, I need your help, man. What you're asking for is insane. Impossible. You want me to let the dragon into the heart of my city? With the threat of war on my doorstep? Are you scared or something? Let's do this, man. This is awesome. It's the only way to stop the dragons. Yeah. There must be another way. The risk is too great. You coward. All do it. The world eater himself. But... How can we fight him? Doesn't his return mean it's the end times? It's only hopeless if we give up, I friend. Didn't say anything about giving up. Now what's this nonsense about you are giving dragon up. in my palace? It's the only way I want to find to help him. You, and I will. But I need your help first. Ulfric and General Tullius are both just waiting for me to make a wrong move. Do you think they will sit idle while the dragon is slaughtering my men and burning my city? No. I can't risk weakening the city while we are under the threat of enemy attack. I'm sorry. So you're scared. You are scared. Then I would be glad to help you with your mad dragon trapping scheme. But getting both sides to agree to a truce will be difficult at this point. The bitterness has gone too deep. Maybe. What of the Greybeards? They are respected by all Nords. High Hrothgar is neutral territory. If the Greybeards were willing to host a peace council, then maybe Ulfric and Tullius would have to listen. You'd be willing to climb up the entire 7,000 steps to have a peace treaty. Dude, I don't know. I, Dragonborn. Maybe you can stop the dragons and this war into the bargain. Um, okay. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a city to keep. Wow, he's somehow, for some reason, he's all of a sudden bitter towards me. What I suggest a little... Need? Shut up. Shut up, y'all. I'm finished with you. Yeah, I just suggest maybe letting a dragon in your place. And then he freaks out because of it. <sighs> All I hear is a coward. All right, let's check out the map. Where do we need to go? Um, for something's telling me it's up north. But I could actually know. Let's uh, follow the arrow, right? I've lost the arrow. Wait, is it over here? Oh, no, it's still to the left. Oh, I need to go up to High Hrothgar. And thank goodness I can speed travel. But poor guy, he has to climb it every time. All right, here we are. Let's talk to the Greybeards and get their approval. What's up, man? How do you feel about hosting a peace treaty? Aldwin, we heard the dragon wren shout from here. You defeated him? Yeah, I but he escaped. I thought it was him we saw flying east after your battle. 
I need your help. We are not warriors. What is overlooked in the Dragonborn is not permitted to any other followers of the way of the voice. I'll worry about capturing the dragon. We need to stop this war. You misunderstand our authority. The Greybeards have never involved themselves in political affairs. Oh. I see. The dragon will lead you to Alduin, but without the Jarl's help. Both sides respect the Greybeards. They will listen. Arthanax has made the decision to help you. This is the road we have to walk. Even the Greybeards must bend to the winds of change, it seems. So be it. Tell Ulfric and General Tullius that the Greybeards wish to speak to them. We will see if they still remember us. Aha! Uh -huh. So, success! Got you. Now let's go talk to them and get them to come up here. Okay. A little spree speed travel action. Solitude. Excellent. Not excellent that it's nighttime, but wow, what a fantastic night sky. Imagine going to bed every night with that above you. Oh. You might want to rethink that. You're missing out on some wonderful opportunities working in that bar. Fancy the leather armor, huh? Huh. We can actually enter three different ways, it seems. Okay. Must be some sort of a security change. Can I get in there? Let me guess. Someone stole your sweet roll. Are you serious? Mind yourself in my city, friend. This here axe in full swing is a right terrible sight. Okay. That's the first thing you say to somebody you haven't met before. Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I believe we've already met. Have we? Oh, oh of course. You were at Helgen. <laughs> one of the prisoners, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I was set free. Hmm. I suppose that's true. Fine. Why don't you have a chat with Legget Ricka? I suspect we might have use for someone resourceful like you. Not many survived, Helgen. Besides, I'm sure your being imprisoned was all a terrible misunderstanding. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't. Speak with Legget Ricka. She will determine if you are Legion material. Yeah, I didn't want to join. I just wanted to, like, give you a message from the Greybeards. You need to go up there. We need to have a peace treaty now. The Greybeards? What do those yeah. old hermits want with me? Don't have to be rude. Why? There's nothing to discuss as long as that traitor Ulfric is in arms against his rightful emperor. We need a truce until the dragon they menace is dealt with. Problem. But I wasn't sent to Skyrim to fight dragons. My job is to quell this rebellion, and I intend to do just that. Dragons or no dragons. The dragons are a bigger problem than the Stormcloaks right now. I'll be the judge of that. Besides, by all reports, the Stormcloaks are suffering just as much as we are from these dragon attacks. How can I convince you? The best time to negotiate is from... Okay, I position Fair enough. With you. We're driving the Stormcloaks back well enough at the moment. But we're already overstretched. That's what comes of trying to win a war with a bare handful of legions. If the Ember would just give me the reinforcements I've requested. Uh, why won't the Emperor send more reinforcements? So you'll yes, come to the Peace Council. Yes, fine. I'll come to this Greybeard Council. For all the good it will do. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. Well, so far so good. We got one down. So one down, one to go, right? Let's go ahead and speed travel over to right run. This really is... Oh, it's over here. Windhelm, okay. This really is a bit of a political playthrough, isn't it? At least this... Um, at least this episode is, anyway. Hey! I didn't want to set a marker. I wanted to go there. Oh, I haven't discovered it, really? I never went inside? Interesting. 
Alright. So now it's just a quick run over to the uh, castle there. Because unfortunately I haven't found it yet. Of course. Oh, that's right. When I speed travel there last time, I just ran south. Avoiding this whole city anyway. And maybe... Just maybe... We can pick up a little uh, Dark Brotherhood action. You come here where you're not wanted. You eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the Stormcloaks. But we haven't taken a side because it's not our fight. Hey, maybe the reason these Grayskins don't help in the war is because they're Imperial spies. Imperial spies? You can't be serious. Maybe we'll pay you. All right. Of out what Enough of that. So this is apparently the oldest city in Skyrim. I mean, I think the developers did very well on making this place look old as anything. Very old looking stones, big stones, and things of that nature. Let's go inside. Oh. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on the White Run. And what would you have me do? Huh? If he's not with us, he's against you. I remember you. You were at Helgen with us. Come to join the war. Speak I don't mean to interrupt. He handles the new recruits. I don't mean to interrupt your conversation you're having over with the other guy, but uh, yes, I'm. Uh, that's not why I'm, I'm here. Sorry to hear that. If you change your mind, speak with Gamma. What does bring you to me? I have a message. Nope. Yeah, I have a message from the Greybeards. It's about time they turn their gaze from the heavens back to our bleeding homeland. What do they want? They want you. Peace I have treaty. the greatest respect for the Greybeards, of course. And the dragon attacks are a growing plague. But the political situation is still delicate. Not all the Jarls are fully committed to supporting me as High King. I can't afford to appear weak. I can't agree to this unless Tullius himself will be there. He already said he would be there. Good. We still hold half of Skyrim despite everything the Empire could throw at us. I doubt the Empire has the stomach for much more bloodletting. So you come? Yes. I'll give Tullius one more chance to quit Skyrim with his tail between his legs. Oh. He knows that. He'll oh, come. That. He'll come. Nice. So we got both of them. Now it's time to head up there. Head up to the Greybeards and get on with this peace treaty so I can capture a dragon. Let's remove that stupid thing. Let's see. Yep. Hi, Harathgar. Man. Wow. I can't believe they had to travel all the way up here. Oh. Yeah, they had to walk all the way up there. Check it out. Oh, wait. Are they walking hand in hand? Oh, no. Okay. No, those are my people. Okay. Okay. I thought they were just, like, walking up, chilling, you know? Chatting it up on their way up together. Like, ho, ho, ho. Having a good laugh back and forth. What's up? Hey, gang. What's going on? So, you've done it. The men of violence are gathered here in these halls whose very stones are dedicated to peace. I should not have agreed to host this council. The Greybeards have no business involving ourselves in such matters. Wimp. Don't worry. I'll get them to agree to the peace. Peace? <laughs> I doubt it. They may put their weapons down for a moment, but only to gather strength for the next bloodletting. They are not yet tired of war. Far from it. Do you know the ancient Nord word for war? What? Season unending. Wow. And so it has proved. But regrets are pointless. Here we are. Take your seat at the council table. Let us see what wisdom we can find among these warriors of Skyrim. All right, let's take our seat. Where is our seat? Oh, it's uh, going to be around this corner. Okay. What? What? 
How do I get over there? Arn gear, is it? You know why we're here. Are you going to let us in or not? No, you're already in. You are not welcome here. We have as much right to be at this council as all of you. More, actually, since we were the ones that put the Dragonborn on this path. Oh, yeah, right. Hubris of the Blades truly knows no bounds. <sighs> Fighting over whether or not people put me on a path or not. Huh. Cool. I guess I just need to take a seat. Alright, let's get this started. Hear ye, hear ye. I call this meeting... We need to seek peace. And counsel. Why is this taking forever? Let's get the show on the road. We all now that everyone is here, please take your seats. So Already we can sitting. Begin. I hope that we have all come here no. in the spirit. You insult us by bringing her to this negotiation. Your chief Talos hunter. That didn't take long. Here, here. I have every right to be at this negotiation. I need to ensure that nothing is agreed to here that violates the terms of the White Gold Concordat. She's part of the Imperial delegation. You can't dictate who I bring to this council. Please. If we have to negotiate the terms of the negotiation, we will never get anywhere. Perhaps this would be a good time to get the Dragonborn's input on this matter. By Izmir's beard, the nerve of those imperial bastards, eh? To think that I would sit down at the same table with that foul more bitch. <gasps> he walks or I do. Well, guys, this is going to be a long conversation, so if you want to skip ahead, um, I totally understand, but this is going to be a bit of a long winded conversation, so. Uh, be here at your own risk. Um, what's the film? All right, yeah. Maybe so. But bringing her here is a deliberate provocation. Talius needs to know I won't be pushed around. Hmm. It feels like a mistake to me. But I'll bow to your judgment on this. But she is to observe nothing more. We are not negotiating with her. Is that clear? Yeah. Alfric, why so hostile? After all, it's not the Thalmor that's burning your farms and killing your sons. She's supposed to be on our side? You know exactly. No. Not this time. Ooh. Now that that's settled, may we proceed? Finally. I have something to say first. Are you serious? Here we go. Spit it out. The only reason I agreed to attend this council was to deal with the dragon menace. Oh, okay. There's nothing else to talk about. Unless the Empire is finally ready to renounce its unjust claim to rule over the free people of Skyrim. I knew he wouldn't be We're able to here resist. To a temporary truce to allow the Dragonborn here to deal with the dragons, nothing more. I consider even talking to the Empire a generous gesture. Are you done? Did you just come here to make speeches, or can we get down to business? Yeah, please. Yes, let's get this over with. Are we ready to proceed? Jarl Ulfric. General Tullius. This council is unprecedented. We are gathered here at the Dragonborn's request. I ask that you all respect the spirit of High Hrothgar. And do your best to begin the process of achieving a lasting peace in Skyrim. Who would like to open the negotiations? I'll do it. Yes, let's get down to it. We want control of Markarn. That's our price for agreeing to a truce. So that's why you're here, Ulfric? You dare to insult the Greybeards by using this council to advance your own position? General Elisif. General, oh. this is outrageous. You can't be taking this demand seriously. 
I thought we were here to discuss a truce. Alasif, I said I'd handle it. Oh Frank, my gosh. You can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, yeah. that'd be entirely out of character. Want in return. Wait, General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor? This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Enough. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. You are a traitor to the Empire, and deserve a traitor's death. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Finally. Um... Winterhold? Huh. I, I guess, am I going to see Imperials, like, Imperials start to show up? Well, Imperials can't be in Riften, can they? I guess Winterhold, right? Seems like a fair trade. Actually, no, Riften. Yeah. Because <laughs> it brings in, like, no money. What do you guys think? Let's just do Riften, why not? The rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil, and threaten Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just here to posture? I expected better from you, Dragon Boy. I came here in good faith, and now it seems you help the Empire at every turn. <laughs> As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. If you think you can hold Markarth, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Lothalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. No! You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Yeah. Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Who are you? Is he with you, Delphi. If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me, and I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Ooh. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? A very pretty speech. But what does Shut it have up. to do with the... <laughs> if he's right about all of them, we both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now... Back to the matter at hand. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Damn right we do. You surrender Hjall March to us and take Idgrad Raventhorn with you. Surely the Builder will take over as Jarl of Morthal. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. What? What say you, Dragonborn? Um... You know, the Empire did... was gonna kill me in the very beginning without giving me a fair chance. So, I'm gonna agree with Ulfric. Spoken like a true son of Skyrim. I suppose that's the fairest deal we're likely to get. It seems we may have an agreement. Ooh. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, 
and Thongvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Maka. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the Rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riftland. Jarl March will be turned over to Ulfric, with Sorli the Builder assuming the Jarl ship. Sounds good. You both agree to this? The sons of Skyrim will live up to their agreements, as long as the Imperials hold to theirs. What about you, Alistair? Are these terms to your liking? Speak up. I'm sure General Tullius is waiting to do your bidding. Oh. I have nothing to say to that murderer. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Ellison. I appreciate your loyalty. The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce, until the Dragon Menace is dealt with. After that, Ulfric, there will be a reckoning. Count on it. Ooh. Come on, Delmar. We have a lot of work to do. Giving up All right, Mark sounds good. A heavy price for this now let's talk to this crazy old bat. I I'm afraid there's a one. A serious one. I've discovered who the Greybeard's leader really is. Oh, Parthenax. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you could have asked me. I would have told you. He's a dragon. Not just any dragon, but the right hand of Aldrin, responsible for many atrocities during the ancient Dragon War. Oh, yeah? The blades have been hunting him for centuries, but he was protected by the Greybeards and then the Emperor. Justice demands that he die for his crimes. Until he is dead, I'm afraid my oath as a blade prevents me from offering you aid and comfort. So you're saying I need to kill him? I anticipated the problem. While you were arranging this meeting, I was busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple, an unguessed troll of lost lore. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. How does that help? Don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Oh, why would he... He's not okay. compelled to, but dragons are prideful nature and loathe to refuse a challenge your voice in particular okay. is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call so what's this dragon's name I'm no master of the voice like these worthy gentlemen but it is written here in the scroll Od Arvin Winged snow hunter, as I read it. All right. You are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan. Yes. I need to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. But the so it looks like. How to lure a dragon? We're good to go. At all. Well, that's an excellent question. Huh. You haven't overlooked that. All right, so we figured out how to lure the dragon. Yes, what is it? Uh, no, I don't need That's to talk to you. So I figured out how to lure the dragon. Uh, we just got to shout his name, apparently. Wish you knew that before. Why hadn't I tried that before? Uh, can I speed travel here? Dragon's Reach? Let's give it a shot. The Greybeards have arranged a truce between the Stormcloaks and Imperials. Yeah, they did, thanks to me. Let's go in there. Yarl! Success! I'm the commander of the guard here in Let's capture some dragons, yo. Ooh. And stand in the fire. Oh. There we go. You. the guards watch over your battles, friend. Are you ready to spring the trap? My men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. Finally! Uh, I'm ready. Let's my go no trap a dragon. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. 
let's do this. Let's trap a dragon. So luckily, good old White Run. Um, this place is apparently built for it. We're ready. Cool. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. Let me scream the name of Dragon. Let's see the shout I got. Um, call Dragon. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Oh. Was that not good enough for y'all? Okay. Ooh. To me, that was pretty solid. What do you guys think? Anybody cutting? Hello? Whoa. Hey, -o. What up, dragon? Jeez. What? Ah, uh, poor filler. Oh my gosh. Wow. Can I, am I gonna be able to, should I dragon rend him or something? Here, let's try dragon rend. That might be what we need. Come on, man. I dragon rendered you. There we go. Come on in. Now let's do another dragon. Nice, nice. Oh, he resisted. Ah, uh, yeah. Crawl in here. Crawl in here, man. Crawl in. Owned. Owned. I do actually. My I know exactly what you're saying. To meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. I salute your hmm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. Zubonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. <laughs> In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know where to find Alduin. Yeah, let's hear it. That's right. Unique vaza, an apt phrase. Alduin, Boval. One reason I came to your call was to test your thumb for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Maie, none were yet ready to openly defy him. You're telling me where to find Elduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength. Devouring the Silesure, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. His door to Sovereign Guard is at Skaldafin, one of uh -huh. his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Minduran pa ok midove navarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Zulost Ofan Hinlam. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? 
I want you to, you know, I want you to be with me. Do you promise to serve me? Um, serve you? Yeah. No. Ah. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Sick. We're going to get our dragon. Croesus. There is one detail about Skaldofen I neglected to mention. Well, then spit it out. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dover, but without the wings of one, you will never set foot in Skaldafen. Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. Fly me there, friend. Um. Uh, fine, I'll set you free. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. Ah. Uh. And you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. Cool. Yeah, let's do it, man. Um, all right. Hello? Uh, sir, you have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some uh, tests on you, purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. <laughs> do not test my promise to the Dover King. I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Let's go, let's go. Oh wait, no, I need to release him first. Oh, that's right. Alright, so let's go up there and fly away. You, Something to tell. you sure open the trap. You want to let that dragon loose after all the trouble to catch him in there? Yeah, absolutely, man. Your funeral. Someone else is going to have to help you get him back in there. Ready to open oh. the trap. Jeez. This seems like a really bad idea to me. Carry on, soldier. This is all part of the Dragonborn's plan. Hmm. Release him. Was new. Dini dein Rufi Asphal. Sick. So I guess that is where I'm going to be leaving it for this episode today. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. If you're enjoying the series, go ahead and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to finish this episode off with me flying off into the distance beautifully. Into the, you know, slowly sunsetting sky. And it will be a beautiful scene of magic and dragons. and Yeah. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.